Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Fetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. You already know that. I don't know why I make these intros, but today I'm going to be showing you two of the best stretch resolutions for Fortnite, and I promise you, you have not seen these anywhere else. Now, I covered these on my channel like four years ago because they were very popular back then, but it seems like literally everyone has forgot about them. And I can assure you, these are multiple performance benefits and also give you a competitive advantage in other ways. So getting straight into this, the first one is for you guys that don't really or haven't previously liked stretch resolution that much and it's 1904 by 1071 it's a very particular value but trust me it is insane it's not horizontally stretched but slightly adjusted for better fps and lower input lag older pros like tifa used to use this a lot and although it was low-key less spoken about the competitive scene all secretly used this resolution and again no one was really talking about it it was highly gate kept now, the main benefit of this resolution is that it will give you a huge performance boost. It only cuts a few pixels, but the resolution delivers a smoother gameplay without sacrificing pretty much any clarity. So you're still going to get that crisp look of your game, but it makes the world of a difference. You also get that nostalgic feel. It mimics kind of the smoothness of like OG stretch resolution. When stretch resolution was good, but it keeps your FOV intact. So you're not losing field of view. You get that competitive advantage in that sense, but it also boosts your frames. And this is exactly why I say it's incredible for people that don't really like the horizontal stretch because you know what's the main reason for that we're losing that FOV everything feels so close and tacky in a way this is that mitigation and this is what fixes that I just want to clarify once again that you will get lower input lag with this which again is just a huge plus this is especially for players on mid tier or lower end PCs this small change will give you a responsive experience especially when paired with the CRU method that's custom resolution utility this is for people that have display skills scaling on their monitor so unfortunately that is not everyone but if you do using the CRU method with this will give you the lowest one-to-one -one response time so if you pair it with my last video I think it was I'll have it linked somewhere but I show you how to do that and yeah after this you will never use native again for me honestly it felt like a game changer it's as I already mentioned like playing on 1920 by 1080 which is native but just better and moving on to the last but definitely not the least this is the most balanced stretch resolution there is in the game it's very similar to what Peter is using so if you've you know watched peter bot or you know who he is he's definitely doing something right and i think that alone vouches this but if you want a slight horizontal stretch with a performance boost this is like the perfect option it is 1798 by 1080 again a very specific value but it was once a forgotten favorite against all the pro players in the scene who appreciate the aesthetic and aim adjustment benefits of stretch resolution so yes you'll lose a tiny bit of fov but unlike older stretch resolution setups this keeps most of it intact of course your character Character models will appear slightly wider, which can make aiming feel easier for some players. Although, I guess objectively, it's a placebo. To me, this is very controversial, honestly. Going a little off topic, but you know, people say that their hitbox doesn't actually expand, which is valid. It's very, very true. But honestly, when you think about it, because things are a little bit closer in this case, not too much, but a little bit closer, it doesn't feel really that tacky compared to some resolutions, but it helps you kind of be more precise in a way. And after all, the placebo effect works, like scientifically, it it literally works. I advise you guys do more research on this because especially with Fortnite, there's a lot that is placebo. For example, disabling mouse acceleration solely in the game user settings. Like that is a placebo, but it makes me feel like my aim is better. And I've did a whole video on game user settings. So you could, you know, watch that if you don't know anything about this. But yeah, the placebo effect doesn't mean that the improvement is imagined. The effects and benefits from this are real. Like you'll actually play better with this belief. So honestly, go for it. And getting back on topic, this resolution has been around. It was just forgotten about. Out. no one's really speaking about it now there was a pro called scrubs i i don't even know if i could find his youtube channel or give any reference here but if you know you know he was a friend of clicks hopefully he didn't get like cancelled or anything but he was incredible amazing build fighter and he used this resolution for its balance and just the smoothness and competitive advantage of it this is actually my main resolution and i know i usually say that stretch resolution it can uh, you know lower your fps in some cases and it doesn't instantly boost your fps it's not what people make it out to be but this one doesn't really have any downsides so if you're not hard stuck on that native feel and you don't want it to look native you're here for stretch resolutions i would definitely use this one it may not be as buttery smooth as 1904 by 1071 you definitely get that edge pause during intense gameplay so now wrapping it up the question is which one should you choose i think i've kind of concluded this but for smoother gameplay and that native feel go with 1907 by 1071 it's perfect if you want better performance without changing your fov or introducing a stretch like horizontal stretch and if you watch a lot of peter bot and you play play competitive give 1798 by 1080 a try but of course all in all it is 
is completely subjective. It's personal preference. It's hard to kind of find what is the best stretch resolution. So in my personal opinion, these will be the two you want to go with. I honestly think anything more stretched is way too stretched and anything less stretched is literally native or less than native. Is that, is that even possible? I think then you would only have disadvantages. But yeah, drop a comment. Let me know which resolution you're using or if you're going to try one of these out. And if you do, let me know how it feels. If you watch to the end, you may as well drop a like, subscribe. It really pushes the video. It really helps more than you think. But yeah, I hope everyone has a good day. I don't usually do outros like this, but you know, I'm feeling eventful today.